Let's now move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Hayden Zilf. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Who writes, Hey, John, longtime fan from Singapore since the AMC days. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Now that we have seen two episodes of The Mandalorian, and each episode is around 30 minutes long, does this give us an indication of the runtime of the Marvel TV shows is going to be? Thanks, and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, listen, one of, generally speaking, not everybody loves Mandalorian, but most people seem to. But one of the minor quibbles that we're hearing even from people who love The Mandalorian the most is that little few people are disappointed with the runtime. They were kind of hoping, granted, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, Disney never told us that The Mandalorian were going to be hour-long episodes. That's just something we assumed. Turns out they're really close around the 30-minute mark. Okay, and that has been one of the little quibbles that some people have with the series so far. To a degree, understandable, because we had our expectations set. I think it's fine, whatever. But the question has come up a few times in the last couple of days is that, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this mean Falcon and Winter Soldier are only going to be 30 minute long episodes? Does this mean Loki is only going to be 30 minute? Does this mean, you know, that, that WandaVision is going to be 30 minute episodes? Is that what all this means? Is, is Obi-Wan Kenobi only going to be 30 minute episodes? My, my first answer to that is we've got one show so far. It's not a big enough, I don't believe the one show is a big enough sample size for us to, you know, uh, predict or make any sort of long-term evaluations on how we think this is going to play now with all of them. Now, if we had four or five shows and they were all 30 minutes long, then we can start making assumptions about what future shows would be. The fact that The Mandalorian is a half hour, I don't think is necessarily indicative of what they're going to do and be moving forward. However, you'd have to be a little bit naive not to at least acknowledge the possibility that, hey, if that's what they went with this, they could also be looking at doing that with these other series. Because one of the things we were all excited about with the Marvel shows, the Star Wars shows, is they said these things are gonna be borderline movie quality. Well, if you're gonna do things border movie quality, it means you're gonna be doing things with movie quality budgets and money and expense and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, if you make the Mandalorian 30 minute episodes to make it half the cost, okay, I get it. As long as by the end of it, instead of having an eight hour story, if we have a four and a half hour story, as long as it's a good four and a half hour story, that's fine with me. So the question becomes, if Marvel does indeed move ahead with 30 minute episodes, guys, um, on the Disney Plus series, are, is there upside to that? And is there some downside? I want to suggest there's a little bit of both. Let me start with the downside, the cons of doing 30 minute episodes. Number one, very selfishly from a, from a fan's point of view, it's only 30 minutes. <laughs> when I, I mean, I, I like what I like and I like seeing hour long stories and all that kind of stuff. And, and to be 30 minutes is just, and not what the industry standard is right now. The big dramas on TV, be they sci-fi or not, tend to be hour long episodes, so, or sometimes a little bit longer. So to me, that's a little bit of a con. Number two con means that in, if, if you have an eight episode season, instead of an eight hour story arc, you're getting a four, four and a half hour story, story arc. Well, then that means you're gonna have less story that you're telling. There's gonna be less characters, there's gonna be less details you go into because it's a shorter thing. And that is a con as well. Those are the main cons that I see. There are, however, to me, a couple of pros. The first advantage and the first pro of it all is, is simply this, is that from the studio's point of view, it, it keeps the, the expense low. And I don't know if that as a fan, I would rather see an eight episode season at a half hour with great top of the line production value than an eight hour run over eight episodes with 60% production value. So I think that could be an advantage as well. Number two, I think it forces the showrunners to keep the show focused on the main stories. Like even some of the greatest shows of all time, whether it's Sopranos, Breaking Bad, even my beloved uh, Sons of Anarchy, things like that, there were often times where there would be these 
secondary or even third tier characters that would get a chunk of screen time divided to, uh, devoted to them with their own little side story that I honestly didn't care about. Half hour episodes forces the showrunners to keep the focus on, you can do a couple side stories, but to keep the focus on the main narrative and to keep the main narrative going. The third advantage I see is that for people who are new initiates to either Marvel or Star Wars, makes it very bingeable. I mean, really, really bingeable very easily because you're not looking at a 12 hour thing. You got to just like, oh, wait a minute. So like in four, four and a half, I can knock that out in two days. You can catch up on a whole series. So that's pretty good too. So I, I do see the pros and cons there. So anyway, Aaron, as somebody who has seen Mandalorian and yes. you've seen how they've been pacing it out with their lengths, yes. the possibilities of taking that model and maybe applying it to the future Marvel shows, do you see some pros and do you see some cons there? If so, what would they be? Well, first of all, I love the idea that we can get away potentially from the standard 30 minute, one hour television show. Mm. As you just established in every show, especially uh, this is problematic with network television that has a 22 episode season you're going to have episodes that are really just fluff and filler. You're going to have big chunks of time that, as you said, are tertiary storylines, which sometimes I'm in those tertiary storylines, so I appreciate it when the <laughs> main actors take a fucking break so somebody else can get on set every once in a while. Um, you know, but but a lot of times as an audience member, you're going, okay, this is not satisfying to me. And you know, we have to also remember where the that thirty and one hour uh, block came from. It came from advertising because right. when we had when if I'm selling paper towels, then I want to put my paper towels in an advertising spot that's going to you know go into this thirty minute television show. So it's actually a twenty two minute television show or an hour long, which is actually a forty six minute television show. That's that's how it was broken up. And we've stuck with that even into the cable world, which doesn't have standard advertising, even though they didn't need to. I'm I'm a quality over quantity kind of gal. Uh, John, I know you're a big fan of ice cream, so maybe you'll understand this yes, analogy. <laughs> For me, I would, you know, the idea of sitting and eating a pint of ice cream doesn't appeal to me as much as eating a no, small- No, Bonerville right there. Yeah. Just done. Sorry, uh, sorry. Same. please continue. Fully erect. <laughs> <laughs> but please continue. I didn't mean to de derail your analogy. For please go on. For me, to actually relish and do a deep dive into a small cup of gelato that is really dense and has all the flavor compacted in that tiny little cup, I don't need a pint of air and cream. I want a tiny little cup of yummy. And that to me is what television should be when it's in these streaming tele when in, in these streaming networks. If it's going to be a 24 minute episode, give me 24 minutes of power, of excitement, of story. And you know what? For the longer episodes, let's if if you have a bigger story to tell, then spread it out a little bit. I don't think that writers should be stuck to this standardized I have to fill 30 minutes or I have to fill an hour. If your story ends at 37 minutes, but it's going to make sure that the audience is left breathless and panting and wanting more or wanting the next, like in the, can I say what happens to the first episode of Mandalorian? Yes. Yeah. We've already done spoilers. Oh, stuff you here. did. Yeah. Okay. So there was nothing that should have happened after little baby Yoda reaches his finger out. That's the end of the episode. That's that the perfect end for that the episode. <laughs> perfect ending. Now, what if that had happened at the 27 minute mark? And they were like, oh my God. I mean, obviously, they would have pushed something earlier in the episode. But what I'm saying is, give me all the density. I don't really, if it's good, I don't care how long it is. That's yeah. my personal feeling. And you know, it, it goes back, guys, to, to this common misconception amongst film fans, and it's now crossing over on TV that. More is better. No. And, it, and it's not. Like some people think, oh man, I hope this next X movie, whatever it is, is four hours long. It's like, why? Maybe the right runtime for that movie is 90 minutes. Give me a bathroom break. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the right runtime for that movie is two hours. Maybe the, maybe the right runtime, like maybe Irishman, three hours and 45 minutes is the right runtime. I don't know. I still haven't seen Irishman myself yet. But more does not automatically equal better. Great pacing, tight storytelling, all that kind of stuff, that makes a movie better. And if you're doing that and it still requires more time, then do it. Then I'm with I would much rather have a great 
well-paced, tight story, four and a half hour story of Mandalorian, yeah. then a drawn out, over elongated with unnecessary scenes and, and slower pacing, seven hour Mandalorian. More does not automatically equal better, mm -hmm. except with ice cream. Exactly. I, I don't know, Chris, how would you approach this whole thing? Yeah, more is more. And I do feel like a lot of this is much ado about nothing, to borrow a phrase from you, John, at this point in time, because we just don't have enough data to decide right. if this is how they're going to do their shows. And also, if you look at other networks, other streaming services, they all don't have a standard of we only do 30 minute shows. You know, there's 30 minute shows, there are 45 minute long shows because of commercials or an hour long slot. So this definitely could vary in everything. For The Mandalorian, 30 minutes to me is perfect for our strong and silent guy. And to borrow from an Ugnot, I have spoken. <laughs> Wait, did you, did, John, I didn't realize that you actually coined the phrase much ado about nothing. He's William Shakespeare. <laughs> I am. Yeah, not many <laughs> people is. know that. I've, I've yeah. heard that before, but I didn't realize that that was a John Campia that is a, original. That is a John it's Campia original. It's a John original. Campia trademarked. I have to give him a nickel every time I say it. Oh, well, gosh, you made like 30 cents today, John. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how that works. Question here is, guys, listen, I know there's a lot of a lot of vast varying opinion about this because, you know, I think, like, I admit when I watched the first episode of Mandalorian, and it ended, I was like, whoa, wait, wait, what? Because I didn't do the thing where you pause the show when it starts so you can see, see the time bar is. and see yeah. how long it is. Mm -hmm. I just assumed like a lot of people's gonna be over now, so it was starting, but you're right. E.T. Phone Home was the perfect <sighs> ending for that episode. I love him more than most of my family. Mm. <laughs> it's it's oh. Anne's lock screen on her phone. Every time oh. that he come that he would come up, I would like reach over and grab one of my cats and just start yeah. because in my house all you have to do is stick an arm out and there's a cat there. Yeah. That's because I have so many cats. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I would have to just like snuggle with something every time <sighs> I saw him. Love baby him. Yoda. And eating Yoda. the frog. Yoda. Um and and so I think there's gonna be a lot of people that if Falcon Winter Soldier, which a lot of people are very excited about, and that first episode comes out and it turns out to be 32 minutes, I know gonna, we're gonna get a repeat of that. So I wanna ask you guys, what do you think about all that? Do you see the pros and do you see the cons of what happens if, and that's a huge if, if Marvel moves forward and does the same pattern as Mandalorian, jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.